Right, so taking a look at what's going on in the tropics, the latest update just came out. Now we have Hurricane Elsa. So it is continuing to strengthen and it is moving into the Caribbean right now over the Lesser Antilles. We have maximum sustained winds of 75 miles per hour and it is not moving Actually, it is moving into the Caribbean and the latest track takes it through the Caribbean as we head into the weekend. So it is going to run into some wind shear and it is going to weaken just a bit. But tropical storm warnings or hurricane warnings are now in effect and it's moving pretty fast. We have west northwest uh, movement at 28 miles per hour. Now, as we head into Monday and also early Tuesday, as it gets closer to Cuba, it is expected to make that northward turn as it heads into the Gulf of Mexico staying along the coast of Florida. So the models are in better agreement heading through the Caribbean here, but notice after Monday and Tuesday, it starts to split, so the uncertainty remains high. Taking a look at the setup here, we have a subtropical upper level ridge that's going to remain over the Atlantic, and that's what's actually staring Hurricane Elsa. So here's your seven day forecast. 91 today, partly cloudy skies. Rain chances increase as we head into tonight. Saturday, we're looking at scattered showers, heavy downpours, but that's going to keep our temperatures low in the mid 80s. A few lingering showers are possible Sunday, but much drier Sunday afternoon.